Hey, thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. It's time to do the next uh, the next layout in the Julie Nutting Paper Doll Altered Book Series. So let's get started and have some fun. I want to start by saying thank you to everybody. Your comments on my videos have been just so heartwarming to me. That's why I do this. I love to inspire other people. And I just appreciate so much all the wonderful and sweet comments. And I want to say thank you to Patricia. I received a uh, tip on the project to my PayPal. And I just want to say thank you, Patricia, for the lovely um, tip to my account. And just thanks, everybody, for the nice comments. And I'm so glad everybody is enjoying this project, whether you're playing along or whether you're just watching for fun. This is really a, a really fun project. And when this book done, it's, is done, it's going to be so pretty. So to get started with my next idea, I've created my sets. So I've got the backside this was the last one with the door. Then I've got the nice stiff backside that's going to be a base page. I have a set of three, and I just put together another set of three that I'm standing this book up so I don't get a um, crease in the gutter here. And I'm going to let this dry really well. So I'm going to put this aside and then get started working on my Julie Nutting doll. So for this project, I've chosen Taylor. She's super cute. Look at Taylor and Zoe. Those are the two that I've chosen and I'll show you uh, what I'm going to do for layering them. And my idea on this one is to make two different tags and put them on tags. So if you need some inspiration for different tag ideas, there have been so many people over the last 10 years or so since these Julie Nutting stamps came out that are creating tags with Julie Nutting girls on them and doing exchanges and things. So go on Pinterest and put in uh, Julie Nutting tags. There's some gorgeous, gorgeous um, Julie Nutting tags that are great for inspiration for this. But I'm going to create two tags and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with the, the book, the altered book pages. So to show you how I'm layering this stamp, I stamped her body onto just a cream color cardstock using a light brown ink. I'm going to do her shoes in black. So I'm going to just use a paint pen for that. I used a tan with brown ink for her hair. Um, this one comes with two different hairstyles you can choose from, and I chose that one. I stamped her little jacket in just the um, trim of the jacket, just on regular copy paper, because I want it to be like white lace. And then her little bodice of her on her body, um, I just did that in this cute polka dot kind of really tiny print and then I want her skirt and her jacket to be in this printed orange. So I'm going to go ahead and layer it and put it together and what I like to do is to use colored pencils, Neo Color 2, um, watercolors, uh, alcohol markers and things to do the shading on the body before I layer it and the shading on the clothes and things. So I'll show you what she looks like when I've completed putting using her this piece of cardstock. It's a nice thick cardstock, but it's really pretty. It's got a nice design to it. It's for scrapbooking and it's eight by eight and I'm going to split it in half. And that is what my base tags for the two girls is going to be made out of. So here's what the tag is going to look like. And here's what my girl looks like layered. I did add a little dimensional flower to her, uh, to her little jacket and in her hair. Those are just, um, for doing nail art. So you can find those cute little flowers and things that are small enough by um, looking at places that sell gems for nail art. On her bangs, I curved them over a pen and I put some paper behind them to make her bangs dimensional. That's what it looks like with a little uh, white trim. I like that. And then I did pop up her jacket to make it stand up away from her body. I painted her little feet black. And she looks real cute. So what I'm going to do with the tag, um, for this tag, I think I'm going to tear some book text and cut out some die cuts and just do a whole bunch of layering to make a cute background for the tag. Next I'm going to work on Taylor. And I love this cute little wrap skirt. And what I'm going to do for that, I'm using a piece of batik cotton sewing material and it's so colorful and pretty and I'm going to ink up the stamp the bottom half of the stamp in black archival ink and stamp right onto this material and then use scissors to cut it out tie a little bow from the material for her little bow at her wrap skirt waist this color cardstock is going to be her pants 
it coordinates with the other tag that I made with Zoe. And this yellow, I like the yellow top, so that's going to be her yellow top. And this is going to be her skin tone that I'm going to make a little richer with um, some uh, Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 crayons. And then I'm going to make her headband out of the material as well and her hair in black. So let me put that together and show you what she looks so like. I use this Ranger Dilutions um, journaling, blo journaling block with that crazy border edge as my stamp block for these girls. It works great. And so I just inked her skirt in Ranger Archival ink and I just wanted to show that I just laid her down over this material, stamped it, and see, look at, you can see really easily the material to cut out. So you can use pattern paper, but material works just as nice. So here's how this tag turned out. I love it. It looks super cute. And I used a um, metal die to cut the circles that I used on the page. And then I just used pieces of them to make some go off the page. Book text that I distressed. And then I used a little um, a little Tombow pen to make the little ties on her shoes. I added their name on the tag. And it's just really cute. I like it. And I used colored pencil behind her to make like a blue shadow behind her. And then some black soot distress ink on the edges. So that's that tag. I love it. Turned out cute. Now I'm working on the one with Taylor and... Look how her outfit turned out. I love it. I love it so much. That's the material. So I took the material, the boutique material, and I stamped on it, cut it out, glued it down. And then I took a piece and tied it in a bow, in a little knot, to make the little ties at her waist for her little wrap skirt. So cute. And then I added material on her uh, headband for her headband. I added some extra hair i kind of redid her hair twice and that made it have more depth to it and now what i'm doing is taking a bead needle and some thread i knotted it and i glued it into place on the back if you can see that and then use some um, tape to just anchor it down and now i'm going to thread some tiny tiny seed beads these are size 15 micro micro seed beads they're super 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 tiny and I'm going to make a really fun necklace and then end it the same way around the back side so she'll have a beaded necklace then I'll decorate her tag and show you the next step so here are my cute tags I love how Taylor turned out I added some beads a beaded necklace and earrings and I love the materials, little wrap skirt. And these, I did the same thing as I did over here. Here I tore strips of book text. I used that die cut. And what I did for this is, this is the center part. And I had um, used really pretty dark black pattern paper to cut out those circles. I used the center negative part instead of throwing it away. And then I just uh, tore some round pieces of book text. So these two kind of go together, but they are different. So it just made really fun, fun tags that are going to be across from each other. And then I did take colored pencil and colored blue around her just to make her pop a little bit more. And then I distressed the edges. So the tags are done. And I really like how they turned out. Now it's time to make the pockets for the book. The pages are dry, and now I'm ready to move on to what I'm going to do with these pages. So this one's going to be my back page and this set's going to be my back page on this side. And then on this, what I'm going to do is take a pencil and I'm going to go across like this and make a, make a line and then straight up. And I'm going to just take my scissors and cut down into this like this and cut up here. And then I'm gonna flip that piece and use it over here and I'll show you what I mean. So here's the piece I just cut off. And now what I'm gonna do is it's gonna go down here and it's gonna go in place right here. So what I'm making essentially is two pockets to put those tags into. So on this piece, what I wanna do with these backgrounds first is I wanna do um, background on it with brayering and inks and all kinds of stuff in stencils and make a wild background and then put this down and go over this the same way so that it 
it matches the page and same with this. I want to make sure that that page is covered first. Why I do that is then when it's your book standing up and it's open a little bit to put the tag inside, if you just laid this down and did this page, you're going to see that white book text underneath in here that doesn't have any color to it. It just looks nicer to me to do the page, put it down, keep going with your same technique, whatever one you choose, and then same over here, do the background page, glue this into place where it's going to go, and then do this page because then you're going to have really nice pockets that have um, pattern inside them as well. So that's what I'm going to do is create a background on these pages and then um, show you my idea for the pockets. So now I want to find some colors to use for my background. So I am going to reference my Sarah Renee Clark color cubes again. And this time I chose this card. This is card number 76. It's got the name of the colors on the back. I like how these colors go with both of these tags. So the yellow, the orange, the kind of a bluish teal, and it added three colors that I wouldn't have thought of. This orange, a very light pale pink, and this blue, which is like a blue gray. I love that. And so those are the colors I'm going to use on my page background to um, highlight and make these tags pop. There's a link in the description box below for Sarah Renee Clark's uh, color cubes for my unboxing and how I use them with a video showing how to use the cards. And then um, a link for if you follow my link to her site and you do end up purchasing them, I get a little reward for that because I am an affiliate with Sarah Renee Clark. But these color cubes are so much fun to play with because they really make you think outside the box. Ha ha ha, they're a box. But they do, they make you think outside the box. I would have never thought to use a steel gray or a blue gray or a, a light pink. And it really made them, the final results really looked great. So um, I love using my color cube cards. This is how it's coming out so far. I've uh, just took a sponge and I sponged my paints all across the page like this. I just thought that would be a really fun and funky background. And then I'm using, these are um, mandala stencils. It's a set that uh, you can get on Amazon. I got them as a gift and I love them because they're just, there's so many different styles. I think there's 36 of them. I don't know how many, um, but I just absolutely love them. and. Um, here's this spare piece that's going to go right here. So I put it into place. I did do behind so that, like I said, behind the pocket's going to have paint so it'll, it won't be white behind it. And then I'm going to glue this pocket into place and glue this pocket down. So I'm just going to put some glue along the edge and the, and the edge and the edge and the edge and glue those into place and clamp it and let them dry. Um, next, I think I'm going to take some paints and do some splattering. I'm going to continue working on uh, adding interest and fun to this background, but I just want to show so far what I've done. And the colors, this is going to be really great. The colors are going to just be so pretty for the pockets. I used some paint pens to add some dots and things around those mandalas and now I've just got some paint on my little paper palette here and an old uh, gift card credit card thing and now what I'm doing is just doing some mark making so see those little cross hatches I'm going back into the color where it is but it's just too plain for me so I'm gonna come in here and then just go back and forth and it makes like a, a nice little texture pattern. So see how that just adds something to those places so it's not so plain. So that's what I'm going to do is in each section find something to make texture. So here's how my background turned out. To make these I used um, a spray bottle and some Ken Oliver color burst watercolor powders and just let them kind of blend out. I did some in orange also. I did black splatters. I used a rubber stamp and black ink for those images to make those little like starburst things. And 
I really like how it turned out. It's just kind of wild and crazy, but it's fun. So next what I'm going to do, what I like to do around my pocket pages, is to take a self-healing mat and I'm going to put it behind the previous page. And where the um, edge starts for the pocket, I'm going to take a paper piercer. And you can mark these if you want them to be really really specific with a, a ruler. In fact, I think I might do that. You can either eyeball it or use a ruler. And so I guess I'm going to use a ruler and I'm just going to go in here and mark every, um, I think I'm going to go quarter inch or half inch. Mm. I'm going to do quarter inch. So I'm going to just make my little marks and then use my paper piercer to pierce a hole and you want to pierce it through all of these layers. And it is going to show on this previous page, but that's okay. I don't mind. It's all part of it being a an altered book. So I don't mind that a bit, but you just want to do these preliminary holes and you're going to just punch your little holes all the way around. And then I'm going to come back in with black um, black embroidery floss and a needle and I'm going to stitch these edges. So I'm going to mark punch my holes all the way here along this bottom edge and up this side and then I'm going to stitch it in a whip stitch in embroidery floss. So here's how it looks with my stitching all the way around. Look at that. Love it. It's so cute. I love that feel of having something kind of textile on the page. And it adds some interest. And on the previous page, it shows, but it looks really cute. Uh, just be sure when you're doing it that you don't pull it tight. You don't need to pull at all. Just work that Work that loop through and just carefully let it lay where it's going to go because it's just decorative and if you pull it tight you will rip the papers. So here's my completed pocket pages. I like them a lot. I may add a saying and here's what they look like with the tags in the pockets. I like how the tags have black around the edges so it ties in with the designs I used on the pages. And when you make your tags, I know you guys love to do Julie Nutting tags, very, very decorative. Be sure that the bottom half of your girl doesn't have anything too roughly fancy like uh, laces or anything like that because then they're going to get damaged when you put them in and out of the pockets. So just keep, do something flat at the bottom like the shoes and things don't add extra detail. The extra detail up here won't matter because it's sticking out of the pockets. So that's how they look like in their pockets. I love it. Super cute. And let me find a saying to go on the page and then that'll complete this layout. I added sayings and they are from the Small Talk Tim Holtz Ideology pad. I put uh, the one that says it's the little things that make life big. And over here, be you bravely. And now I'm going to go around them. This is a charcoal pencil and my little scrubber. You guys have seen this a million times. I'm going to go around the little sings, bubbles, and then just blend out the charcoal. I'll we'll make them stand out a little bit. And it goes well with the black on the page. Okay. So that's Perfect. it for this project. I hope it inspires you to make some pocket pages in your Julie Nutting Paper Doll Altered Book. It looks really cute with the tags. I love that. And it's really fancy and pretty when you pull them out. So there we go.
Hope you enjoyed this. It was another fun project and the book's coming along. So stay tuned for the next project. Go make some art in your paper doll altered book and have fun because art soothes the heart. There will be a link in the description box below for the items and um, products that I used to create this layout.